here we are. Here we are back at the start again. I am going to find Lord Harriman and uh, start the whole process with the uh, finding the paragon. What now? You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you. Well, I'm assuming that's a picture of Lord Harlow. You've seen and touched and dropped his ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's chosen. I know, it seems almost irreverent to use her as a curative, and it is also a tiny bit morbid. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. I suppose you could look at it that way, but she still deserves our respect. But there is little time to debate this. Let us move on. These are the personal apartments of High General Lord Harrowmont. No visitors are allowed at this time. Lord Balin's impending marriage to a castless proves his dedication to shame. You're awfully bold. 
walking right up to me after coming out against Prince Balin and the Proving. You do know who I am, right? I'm Vartag Gavorn, the Prince's chief advisor. Hope you keep that sense of humor when the assembly votes Haramon out on his ear. Warden, I'm afraid the assembly is still locked in debate. What can I do for you? At this point, they're stone for stone. I wouldn't put any coin on the outcome. It's still up in the air, though. One big surprise, and it could go either way. Warden, I'm afraid the assembly is still locked in debate. What can I do for you? I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harrelon, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. I only wish there was more I could do for you. I can't do that. I have nothing more to say to you. No one enters the prince's estate without an invitation. anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Did you see any guardsmen tell him Ogren was at it again?
I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. My name is Vilda, widow of Turak of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for a safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud. They got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. How? There is no way except to brave the Deep Roads yourself. Warden, so you could do it. Only Wardens face the Deep Roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Please, find me as soon as you return. Maker's blessing on you, sister. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Return to my ancestors' lands who spread the chant of light. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Oh, I would hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. If this chantry could help just one person as much as it helped me, it's worth any trouble. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. To tell the truth, I was supposed to meet someone, a traveler like you, but it doesn't look like he made it through the gate. Any chance you're looking to make a little coin? Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell lyrium, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the circle tower. I got one man named Godwin. 
He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back this return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. I don't think so. Boys! Come <laughs> Question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. But since the boy was born, I've not seen nose or heel of the lout, and me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I. But no, I can't bear to even think of it. My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my cast and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Y you would do that? But why? If you would do this for gain and not compassion, then there is no hope for my son. We have nothing to offer but gratitude. I thought about that. They say there's no caste up there, that humans don't care about lineage. I've never met a surfacer, though. I, I thought it might not be safe. And you've been kinder than any of my countrymen. Perhaps it's a sign. If it gives my son a chance to live, I will go. Thank you, stranger, for opening my eyes. Perhaps I'll see you next in the light of the sun.
look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. You're as kind as you are beautiful. I owe you when I get back on my feet, if my feet still worked. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? I'd say it was an accident, try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the carter when some guardsmen caught me. The guster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel and dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, castles have no lineage, so it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. <laughs> if you have that kind of coin, Salaroka, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up to Tapsters. Long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. I'll just stay out of your way then. A human? What's a human doing down here? If I were tall and beautiful like you, I could make all sorts of money. Don't you go asking so many questions. It'll get you in trouble. What's this? A human? Do we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. It'll be our business when we drag your corpse out. The Darkspawn have pulled back, but they are down there. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Into the deep roads? Not without a full unit of soldiers to back you, my friend. Or a Desher's permission to risk yourself. Orzammar can't afford to lose its citizens or honored guests on casual visits to the deeps. Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Ugly beasts they are. 
walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. A few outposts. Legion of the dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Into the deep roads? Not without a full unit of soldiers to back you, my friend. Or a desher's permission to risk yourself. Orzammar can't afford to lose its citizens or honored guests on casual visits to the deeps. I, for your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Do not buy anything. Or touch anything. Or... I'll trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? I? Maybe I can help. He should be by the trash barrel. Easy to spot. Everyone gives him a wide berth. Did you need something else, Warden? With 52 types of ale, 17 types of meat, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Someone's feeling generous. A round of Valenza's red for everyone. This, my friend, is the Paragon of Ales. The best your money can buy. Enjoy. Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Beisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Harrowmont will see you now. Join me here when you're ready to leave. I told him I don't understand what the proof What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Aramont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Branca's a paragon, only one smart enough to be raised in the last four generations. She's a smith, invented some kind of new coal that burns clean. It's been two years since she disappeared down the deep roads, and your boss never gave her a thought. I wonder, what does he think he can get from her now? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. 
He's looking to take it for himself. A little lost technology of the ancients to throw Balin right out of the picture. You are looking for it. Of course, that's all anyone cares about. Well, sawed off and sawed your mother too. I need a bleeding drink. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogryn. Are you ready to see his lordship now? The honor is ours to have found such a staunch and upright ally. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. I appreciate what you have done, Gordy, and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trial. I am Lord Pyrell Harrowman, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Adrian's throne. It is hard to consider the threat of Darkspawn on the surface when all we see is them retreating from our gates. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to come, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jaria and the criminal Carter she runs? I'm glad you're so eager. If you help me shut her down, we can show the assembly I am the right king to defend Orzammar. Jaria hides her base in Dust Town. The raw edges of the city where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the assembly sends your troops. Look for Javier in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. I'm gonna go to the chantry person down I see here. Oh, I'm gonna sucker the warden. Balin will not allow it. I need to go to start up the chantry in Orzumar. I'm just deviating from this quest for a moment. Thief! Gordon, I'm outraged. 
a thief in the shape of What have we been reduced to? My dear, he was bald with the most garish brand across his head, almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere, as if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I can't chat. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. <coughs> My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Tyke, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Tyke in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could. Maybe now that you're looking. It's almost too much to hope. Mm -hmm. When I last walked this hall... Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the shaper of memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. That is an odd request especially for one so new to our city. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? What sort of charities do you mean? I am not certain this is in Orzammar's best interests. Our castes have served us well, but it's possible this service could benefit our people. Very well, he may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? I will record this conversation in the memories. I hope I do not come to regret it. Now we go back to Brother Burkle. Grey Wardens endorse paralyzing
The warden has joined her. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. Now we go to the quest of destiny. We start following the main quest. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Of course. You're back. You got more business for me? Enough to know she don't fancy strangers asking questions. The best way to find it is staying on any street corner in Orzammar and salt Jarvia's mud. You'll wind up there quick enough and have a real long time to get to know the place. Her 
base goes everywhere in Orzammar. You cross her or even talk bad, your bones end up in the lava. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends for money. The best way to find it is stand on any street corner in Orzammar and insult Jarvia's mother. You'll wind up there quick enough and have a real long time to get to know the place. Could be if 30 silver came my way, I might know a bit. Fine. Only Jarvia's men knew all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. They go up to what look like bare walls and poof, gone. Like there's a secret door. There's one just across the way. Watch long enough and you'll see. Now you owe me 30 silver. Pleasure doing business. Now you want to buy something or are we done? That's what I thought. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Javier don't like no one asking questions about her. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm going to fall into the sky. Yes. <laughs> When my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? Nugs? Yes. I don't got much meat on them, but down here you can't be picky. Better than nothing. Nuggets. Lots of people sell them here in Dust Town. What for? You going to cook them up yourself? Yeah, I can find a nug for you. Could even get one from outside the city. Those ones in the deeps don't eat as much garbage. I don't know what they eat, but they always seem healthier. You know, shiny coats, bright eyes. How much you giving me? Real silver, huh? I'll get you a big one for that. Give me some time. I'll hunt them down for you. Alright, I'm going to end this video now, and we'll see you in the next one.